We're just going to step away for a moment from that debate in the Security Council. You heard uh, previously from Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the uh, US uh, ambassador to the United Nations, saying that while the US would not be supporting the Algerian resolution, they do want to work with partners on a text that can be adopted that brings about a temporary ceasefire and allows for all hostages to be released and for aid to get in. Let's bring in our US correspondent, Mark Stone, for more on this. Mark, it's great to have you. Look, we heard from uh, the ambassador there saying that they're not going to be able to support this Algerian resolution, but making it quite clear that the US now is going to put forward its own resolution to bring about a ceasefire. Yeah, let's, uh, it's not altogether straightforward. Uh, and, it, you know, many will look at this and, and, and wonder what on earth is going on, why there is, uh, on the face of it, another talking shop taking place uh, in New York, in that chamber. Effectively, what has happened is Algeria has put forward today a, a resolution which called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Um, uh, now, what happened uh, as that vote uh, went to, uh, to vote, uh, the Americans vetoed it uh, the, on the face of it, uh, saying they do not want a, a ceasefire. The UK uh, was the only abstention, uh, and every other member of the Security Council voted for uh, this Algerian resolution for an immediate uh, ceasefire. Now, why uh, has the, um, have the Americans once again vetoed it? Uh, well, uh, for a number of reasons. Um, and Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the uh, US ambassador to the United Nations, spelt them out in a speech just prior to the vote. Uh, first of all, she said it did not condemn Hamas, uh, and indeed none of the previous resolutions, and there have been, I can't think how many now, um, attempting to push through a ceasefire. None of them condemned Hamas. The reason, incidentally, why they don't condemn Hamas uh, is because if they condemn Hamas, uh, then many members of the Security Council would also want to condemn condemn Israel. Uh, and so they, they decide to not condemn either side. So that was the first reason that the Americans vetoed it. The other reason is because they believe it would hamper attempts to find a more permanent ceasefire, attempts that are taking place not in the forum of the UN, but on the ground between Hamas and Israel themselves. If you call, so argues the America, so argue the Americans, for a ceasefire right now, then effectively um, you remove any um, obligation uh, by of Hamas to release the hostages. So it is it's, it's very delicate. Now, what is really interesting is that the Americans now do now appear to have shifted their language and in, they have rejected this uh, resolution. But they say they are going to put forward a new one probably next week, which will call for a form of ceasefire, but it will also condemn Hamas. This one does not. Uh, and it will also uh, call for there to be no um, uh, invasion of Rafah, that southern Gazan city, by the Israelis without um, some detailed plan on where civilians can go. So a nuanced shift uh, in American language. The top line, though, uh, is that, once again, the Americans have vetoed uh, calls for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. OK, uh, Mark Stone for now in uh, DC. Thank you for that.